Hi, I'm Bill White. We're standing on the Kenai Peninsula about 125 miles from Anchorage, which is considered Alaska's playground, where hunting and fishing are of paramount importance to the economy. But one of the things we like most of all is picking wild mushrooms for the table. We have a good variety of mushrooms here, including the king bolete, uh, the uh, gypsy mushroom, Lactarius deliciosus, among others. Uh, let's take a look around and see what we can find in this area. We've got uh, the kind of habitat we're looking for here includes the conifers and a variety of other trees, but mostly the conifers. Oh, look right here. My goodness. Look at this mushroom here. That's really a pretty king bolete. And another button here and some more here. Oh, some of the critters like them too. This is an example of a really nice looking uh, Boletus edulis, one of the prized mushrooms in the world. Let's take it out and see what it looks like here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This is a little bit different than some of your other mushrooms. It doesn't have the gills, but it has this, this pore surface, and it is wonderful fix a variety of ways. One of the things to keep in mind is when we pick a mushroom, we're actually not killing anything except we're taking the mushroom itself, which is kind of like an apple on a tree. We don't hurt the tree, we just eat the apple. All right, we're in the uh, mixed forest here with birch trees and, and uh, mixed conifers, mostly uh, Sitka spruce. But look, look what we got right here. This is a, uh, in the, in the uh, Bolete family, it's called a Lexinum. It's got this hairy, uh, black hairs on the, on the bottom of it. And some people like this as well as they do the uh, Boletus edulis. This particular one is, uh, is a good edible. It doesn't turn black. Uh, so I think this is an Aspen Bolete. Ah, look at this gypsy. Oh, this one's really nice. You can see this is a classic shape on the bottom of it. It always has this little felt ring around it. It's kind of pinkish underneath. Got the wrinkled top and you can see the color with the umbo. That's a good, good eating mushroom. Oh, wonderful sauteed. Here's a couple more over here. So we'll take them. Notice that they're all growing in moss which is one of the criteria, it takes, yeah, that one's all right. It takes uh, a, lot of, a lot of moisture and the moss retains that moisture for them. See the felt ring is hanging on it. Sometimes that felt ring will fall off, but you can always get a hint that there was a ring on it to, di to differentiate it from the other non-edible mushrooms. Okay, let's go find something else. Ah, oh, this is another Lexanum. Whoa, this one's really been eaten up by the bugs, so I don't think you're gonna, I don't think you'd want to pick this and eat it. It's full of bugs. This is the Aspen Bullet. It's in the, like, I, like his name implies, it's in the Bullet family. Got the hairy stipe like the Lexanums. Ah, no bugs, that's good. Usually the bugs go right up through the stem. So this one might be, might be nice and fresh. We can tell by cutting the cap open. Notice the variegated coloring here. Oh, perfect. And I see something back over there that we ought to go take a look at. And this is another surprise edible. It's really a nice one. It's called the lion's mane. The technical name for it is in the Heresium family. And if you look closely at it, you can see why it's called a lion's mane. See how this all hangs down here? Like a lion's mane. It always grows on dead and dying wood. We like some people like to eat this. It's quite good. It can be a little difficult to get cleaned out because it gets debris in it, a lot of wood chips. 
And if, uh, we need these kind of mushrooms to help uh, decay out the fallen wood in the forest. And where this, they just lay there forever. So this is one of the mushrooms that we really need in the forest. And it's really attached. So you can see it digs right into the tree. It really has a, has a hold in there. All right, these look something like a gypsy. They're kind of the same shape, see here, but they're different color. They're very smooth on top. And when you cut them and look underneath, totally different color. So this is where it becomes important for you to know which mushroom is good and which is not. This one is a cortinarius, not particularly good for you to eat probably make you very sick. Uh, there are other mushrooms that even have worse consequences. If you get into some of the amanitas that look wonderful to eat, but they're deadly. So it's important for you to go find yourself a local mushroom club, get educated on which mushrooms are edible and which are not. More importantly, which are poisonous and which are not. And you'll go out in the woods and have a wonderful time. Have fun in the woods.